And finally tonight, a little surprise for the man who's been sitting beside me, or I've been sitting beside him, for a lot of years now. It is Mark's final evening news after Jeez. an incredible 30 years with ITN. In that time, he's presented more than 2,500 programmes. And Sorry about that. <laughs> been on our screens for more than 2 million Minutes oh, and counting. <laughs> He's reported on everything from sport to disasters, both natural and man made. But no matter what the story, he has told it with compassion and humanity. So we could not let him go tonight without a little look back at some of his finest moments. Take a look. Good evening and welcome to Antarctica, the most remote place on this planet. Good evening. Tonight we're live from Kenya. Good evening from Kathmandu. From Auschwitz in southern Poland. From Tripoli in Libya. Good evening from Haiti. From the Olympic Park. From Washington. From Paris. From Brussels. From Afghanistan. We begin tonight's programme with the most desperate of scenes here in northern Iraq. It's a remarkable triumph for England on Sunday in Calcutta. They now have a golden opportunity of winning the World Cup. Tomorrow, attention switches here to the Olympic swimming pool, where Britain has two real medal prospects. Is there anyone you fancy other than yourself? <laughs> you mean looking wise or what? What's clear is the whole nature of this conflict has changed. This is now a guerrilla war. The Americans now have the capacity to strike at Iraq at any time. One effect of NATO's bombing is to intensify the terror and the ethnic cleansing it was intended to prevent. Everybody in the helicopter scrambles to pull the boys to safety. People are returning to the burnt out remnants of a small town that once was home. Many thousands, though, will not be coming back here, fearing the Hutu militias who still haunt the forests from state prisoner to state president. An extraordinary journey ended here today. And for the first time in decades, the inauguration of the president of South Africa has the blessing of the rest of the world. My emotions <coughs> are one of joy. How are you? See you a long time. I mean, to the untrained eye, you can see some of these icebergs are melting. You can feel, there we are. I mean, that, there we are, that gives you an idea of what it's like. Your Royal Highness. How are you doing? Yeah, nice to see you. Thank you very much for doing this. If current trends and statistics are correct, we are looking at uh, no more rhinos, no more elephants. So this big lad will be all right? Yeah, he'll be all right. I can't believe this. Um, scouts, that's just what I don't need. From everyone here, good night. And tonight of all nights, thank you for watching. Do you know what? I enjoyed every minute of it. Thank okay, you very much too. indeed for that. Didn't need to do that. And uh, before I leave this chair, I just want to say thank you to you at home uh, for allowing me to be a small part of your lives uh, for the past 30 years or so. Uh, it's been a privilege. It seems to me unbiased, accurate news is now more important than ever. And uh, that's what I've tried to bring you. Going forward, I'll definitely see you somewhere soon. Keep an eye out for me <laughs> and I will keep an eye out for you. For now, though, uh, thank you, Mary. Good luck with the programme. And you at home, I wish you well. Have a great Christmas, and especially tonight. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.